it's Hannah here, Hannah my Full Mother. So I want to ask you a question. And that question is, why do you think we're here in human form on this earth? Why do you think we're here? And what do you think we're meant to do while we're here on this earth? Well, do you think it's a matter of surviving? You know, waking up from when you're born then, you know, waking up each day and just surviving through the journey of life until you die. Do you think it's that? I don't think anyone thinks that right. No one believes that. And so I think, and I think most people agree, that life is an incredible gift. And we are supposed to live with joy and happiness and a sense of adventure and excitement and in awe of this amazing life we have and all the beauty around us, all the people, all the animals, all the beautiful nature. We're supposed to appreciate all of that and live in happiness. So then some people will say, just as I have said in the past, why then if we're supposed to live in joy, why do we have to suffer sometimes? Now, I've said exactly that you know, in the past when I was very, very ill. Why is this happening to me? Why is this happening? You know, why do I have to suffer? Well, the answer I've discovered and know now to be, to be absolutely true is all it is, is we've lost connection with who we really are when that happens. We've lost the connection and the universal energy within us and all around us which is what we're part of, which is who we really, really are. You know, we are part of this amazing, amazing energy. It's saying, stop, you know, wake up, wake up. You're out of balance. You're not living your best life. So when we're slightly, when we're out of balance, when we're in a lower vibration, when we're feeling sad, when we're um, mentally, in a lower place, whether you're depressed or you've suffered from a trauma and you can't seem to get over it and you're feeling very, very negative or physically, you're again going through um, some kind of illness, it could be a long-term illness or short-term, whatever it is, it's the universal energy, you know, this core, our core being saying, please, please connect with me again. I want you to live your best life and right now you're not doing that, you're out of balance. So what can we do, what can we learn from this, is try to see every time we're in that lower vibration, every time we feel that we're suffering, whether it's like I said from a mental or physical thing, see it as an opportunity. So rather than seeing it as suffering, see it as an opportunity to learn, an opportunity to realise that we weren't in balance. And awaken with that realization and as an opportunity to wake up to who we really are and move forward in our lives with even more vitality even more love for life with even more sense of adventure you know perhaps we wouldn't have seen that if it hadn't happened we definitely wouldn't have seen it if it hadn't happened now lots and lots of people say this they have to have that trauma they have to have that moment of suffering to awaken to realize what they need to do to reconnect and to live their best life. Um, other people manage to do it without having to, to have that, but lots and lots of people find that they have had that moment, that low point, and it just kickstart them into to starting that journey of self-discovery. And in that, and in the meditations that they do each day, um, and in the meditations I do each day, it's just amazing what you discover and amazing how you can change your life for the better. It's just remarkable. So that's if you if you are ill yourself, if you have something yourself going on, if you can see it as an opportunity rather than suffering, if you can see it as just a moment of you know learning, if you can see it as something that's allowing you to learn and grow from, you know, having this moment of suffering or this period of suffering will allow you, if you choose for it to, to allow you to go and have the courage 
to move into the unknown, to open your heart and see what is out there. You know, don't, you won't be living in the same routine habits every day. You won't be living just with the same thoughts, the same feelings and the same actions every day, but you will awaken to realize that we create our lives every day and, you know, we can feel that. And through meditating every day, we can, you know, our possibilities and pretend, you know, it starts to open up. All our paths start to open up and we see different opportunities and we go with them because we have the confidence and the courage to do that if we choose to. So use these moments of suffering in your life to know that it's not a bad thing. It's just a moment of clarity. It's a moment. It's teaching you that you are on the wrong track and you need to get yourself back up. You need to bounce back and you will bounce back even stronger with more courage if you choose that. So rather than allow that moment of suffering, that suffering to take you down and to live in fear, choose for it to be an opportunity. Choose for it to be a gift. And if we can see everything in life that we do, whether it's those joyful moments or those moments of suffering, if we can see everything just as learning and growing and moving through life and it's a journey, you know, our life will just be incredible all the time. And even when you are suffering, and I know it's hard, you know, I've been through it, lots of people have been through it, it's hard in those points, but if you can use them to grow and to become stronger, then you will look back just in awe that, you know, how you got through it and your life will just be that much better. So remember to look at those moments as moments of learning, learning and growing. And if you can do that, you will just be sorted. And if you do that, you will get over them much, much more quickly. And you really will be living a life with so much more joy, so much more happiness, so much more good health, because you've accepted your moments, you've accepted that suffering, you've taken it in and understood why it was there, and you've used it as an opportunity to grow and to learn and to move forward. And of course, by doing that and embracing it, you are then able to overcome it and move forward from it with just so much peace in your heart and you will raise your vibration very very quickly and you'll be back to where you want to be that much more quickly so use it use these times of suffering to allow you to take your life to the next level and it's the same as well with the world so what's happening right now right now the world was out of balance right? It was out of balance. We all know it was out of balance. You know, things just weren't right. There was too much greed, you know, with regards to the earth. People weren't treating the earth with the respect it deserves. They weren't living in the way that they should have really been living. Lots and lots of people weren't connecting with their true selves and they weren't really connecting with each other in the way that we're meant to. You know, we are all one and we're meant to respect each other and appreciate each other it doesn't matter where you've come from it doesn't matter what race you are what color your skin what religion you are we are all part of the same energy and we can love each other and you might believe different things and that's okay believe different things but appreciate that each other for who we are appreciate that everyone has different views and that's okay love each other for who we are and if we accept that that's what's happening right now. The world was out of balance and something needed to change. Something had to change and that's exactly what is happening right now. It doesn't matter what you believe about where COVID-19 came from. It doesn't matter. All that matters is it came for a reason. It, it was something made it come and it's here because the world needed to change and the world is awakening. People are waking up to who they have been and you know the world is can change for the better. Humanity can change for the better if we choose for this to be a learning experience, a, le a time of learning and a time of growing. Rather than living in fear, let's live with love and peace in our hearts. Let's grow from this, let's learn from this, and let's move forward with just 
so much love for all of humanity, for the earth. And if we can do that, then this world, this earth, this place, this, you know, it's just gonna be amazing. I'm sending so much love, guys. Just have a little think, try to remember, nothing just happens. It happens for a reason. Never say, why is this happening to me again? Just accept it meant you're out of balance and you can get back into balance if you allow yourself to. Same with the world, we can get back into balance. We just all have to believe we can and we have to do the right thing and learn from what is happening grow from what is happening. I'm sending so much love to you all. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.